Congratulations for choosing Relief Therapy for Peripheral Neuropathy. Now that you are in care, we want to ensure you achieve the best possible therapy outcome. In this video, we describe how to fill in the patient symptom survey, identify recovery sensations, and release soft tissue contractures. Symptom survey. As you know, peripheral neuropathy symptoms vary from day to day. The patient symptom survey allows you to report your symptoms as they are on the day of treatment. Let's fill out a daily symptom survey. First, rate your pain. Refer to the diagram of the right extremity. Note that the diagram is divided into several surface areas. Use the pain scale to find a word that describes your pain in each surface area. Write the corresponding number in the box under pain. For example, 10 is unbearable, 4 is uncomfortable, and 0 is no pain. Use the same method to rate the pain in your left extremity. Next, identify surface areas affected by other symptoms. Check the box under T if you feel tingling, pins and needles, electric shock, stinging, or prickly sensations. Check the box under N if the area feels numb. To identify numbness, rub your hand across your bare skin. If it's difficult to sense the touch of your hand, your symptom is numbness. Check the box under T if the area feels tight, bound, or wrapped. To distinguish between tightness and numbness, rub your hand across your bare skin. If it's easy to sense the touch of your hand, your symptom is tightness. Check the box under HC if you feel hot or cold sensations. Once you complete the survey, a relief therapist will review your symptoms and record them in the relief system. The therapist may ask questions about your symptoms and about the medications you are currently taking. By accurately reporting your symptoms, you help ensure the relief laser treatment is suited to your present condition. Recovery Sensations Nerve recovery is associated with new sensations that temporarily replace your old symptoms. These sensations can be similar to the symptoms you experience from your neuropathy. Recovery sensations tell us that your nervous system is responding to relief therapy. The peripheral nerves are sending new sensory information to your brain, and the brain is working to interpret the new information. Your symptom report, therefore, also gives us clues to your recovery process. Recovery sensations can be troubling because they are unfamiliar and may cause temporary discomfort, much like the tingling and stinging experienced when your arm has gone to sleep and is waking up. Your relief team will tell you what to expect and help you manage any discomfort as your nervous system recovers. Just as peripheral neuropathy symptoms tell us which nerves are damaged, recovery sensations can tell us which nerves are responding to treatment. In general, pins and needles or stinging sensations can occur in patients who reported numbness. These recovery sensations may occur on the same day or the day after treatment. They can indicate that large diameter nerves responsible for touch, muscle, and balance activities are recovering function. Tenderness during weight-bearing activities, such as walking, also can occur in patients who reported areas of numbness. This recovery sensation may start the day after treatment and last up to five to seven days. Much like the eyes adjust when going from a dark room to a bright room, it can indicate that the brain is interpreting the new sensory information as oversensitivity to touch. In time, the brain adjusts to the new neural signals and the tenderness subsides. Fatigue, heavy, or wobbly sensations can occur in patients who have experienced loss of balance or loss of strength as part of their disease. These sensations usually begin when the patient recovers vibration sensitivity as measured by the tuning fork test. Sharper shooting or zipping sensations occur in patients who reported pain or hot or cold sensations. These recovery sensations may start on the day of treatment and continue through the next day. They can indicate that small diameter nerves responsible for pain, hot and cold sensations are recovering function. This may be an indication that weakened areas within the muscles are now receiving nerve impulses and can begin to work again. The body is also adjusting as muscles become active and begin to function more normally. These sensations subside as patients rebuild their muscle strength through progressive physical activity. As you know, more normal sensation is restored in the opposite direction as loss of sensation. So if peripheral neuropathy symptoms began in your toes and progressed to your knees, more normal sensation is restored to your knees, then to your legs, ankles, tops of your feet, over the ends of your toes to the balls of your feet. In some patients, recovery sensations can temporarily increase when peripheral neuropathy symptoms retreat below the ankle, typically around treatment seven, eight, or nine. The increased sensations typically last for about a day and indicate that even the most symptomatic areas are responding to relief therapy.
Pinwheel and tuning fork tests are repeated periodically throughout your course of care. These are standard neurologic tests used to assess the extent of nerve damage. As your treatment progresses, these tests are used to assess nerve function recovery. The goal of relief therapy is to reduce the intensity and surface area of peripheral neuropathy symptoms. By the time most patients complete the acute treatment phase, symptoms have retreated to just the balls of the feet and with reduced intensity. Soft tissue contracture. Relief laser treatments can restore more normal nerve function. To improve your quality of life, it is also necessary to rebuild weakened muscle strength, restore lost muscle coordination, and release soft tissue contractures. That is, relieve the tight or bound sensations you may have reported in your symptom survey. The only way to rebuild muscle strength is to use the muscles. We encourage you to set daily activity goals. For example, to walk a little farther each day. The only way to improve muscle coordination is to perform balance exercises. A relief therapist will show you home balance exercises and help you perform them correctly. The only way to release soft tissue contractures is to stretch the tissue. A relief therapist will show you how to perform these home stretches and give you a video for use at home. Keep in mind that your soft tissue fibers have shortened and tightened over time. Stretching gradually lengthens the tissue fibers, releases tightness, improves flexibility, and diminishes symptoms associated with contracture, such as tightness, bound or wrapped sensations, or even painful sensations like burning that can be associated with both neuropathy damage as well as this contracture. Stretching may be uncomfortable at first. Patients who stick with the recommended stretches notice significant improvements in about two weeks or less. Thereafter, with continued stretching, tightness continues to diminish and flexibility and range of motion improve. Like all chronic conditions, peripheral neuropathy requires long-term care. Once you complete the acute treatment phase, we'll schedule periodic visits to ensure you maintain your symptom and quality of life improvements. We'll review your current symptoms and use our pinwheel and tuning fork tests to assess nerve function. You may or may not require additional maintenance treatments depending on whether or not your symptoms are showing signs of returning. Keep in mind that our tests generally reveal the sensory loss associated with peripheral neuropathy before patients notice increased symptoms. So if we detect sensory loss, we can deliver a single laser treatment before your symptoms return. If we don't detect sensory loss, we'll decide when to schedule another maintenance visit. By the time a patient notices a return of their symptoms, multiple visits may be needed again. Our goal is to prevent the recurrence of symptoms with the fewest maintenance visits and the least out-of-pocket healthcare costs.